To continue our journey into the uniques of Diablo 2, let's continue our way into something you just can't touch. The unique hammers. These are generally high strength, high power, and low speed weapons. But with the right ones, you can pull off some fairly nasty builds, and there's a reason they're considered some of the strongest sleepers of the uniques. In the normal hammers, we'll start with Ironstone, a fairly solid damage one-handed weapon, albeit with, well, abysmal speed. Ironstone is literally what this weapon set is designed for, a heavy hitting hammer that takes a little while to swing. It packs some strength and attack rating, but beyond that it's not terribly special outside of, well, hitting fairly hard. And actually being an okay early vengeance weapon for bosses, though usually you'll want something faster to overcome missed attacks. Next up, we have Bone Snap, which is a fairly solid mid-tier hammer, often treated as the precursor to weapons like Ribcracker for a number of builds, and is also a fairly solid upgrade to Exceptional Candidate. This is because it has okay speed for a hammer, really solid enhanced damage, cold and fire resist to make up for the loss of a shield, and a really nice 40% crushing blow. And with how common it is, you can usually find a ton of these even in free stuff games. The last normal difficulty hammer is Steel Driver. While it lacks the crushing blow of Bone Snap, it makes up for it by packing in increased attack speed, solid damage, and relatively low requirements for a weapon in its damage range. While it doesn't do anything terribly special, it really is a good two-hander in normal difficulty, though for boss killing I usually prefer Bone Snap, this is because crushing blow, but this can still be a solid item for progression through the meat of the game. Starting out in the exceptionals, we have the first of the elemental druid hammers with Earthshaker. Definitely one of the weirder weapons in the game that may become more useful in 2.4. It packs plus elemental skills for the druid, as well as a reasonable enhanced damage, increased attack speed, and target blinding. The main thing that keeps it from being more interesting to me is that it has the unfortunate knockback effect, which holds it back from being used on a shape-shifting fire druid using Armageddon and Fireclaw, since this will continue to reposition the enemy on hitting, which can be really frustrating for Fireclaw or any melee druid. After that, we have Blood Tree Stump, which is a fairly nice one for Barbarians, with plus to all masteries and even more plus skills specifically for Mace Mastery. It packs 50% Crushing Blow, a solid Strength Bump, and 20% Resist All to make up for the loss of a shield. But with lower enhanced damage potential than Bone Snap, for non-Barbarians, I'll often prefer an upgraded Snap over this just for the higher base damage. Closing out the exceptionals, we have one of the more badass sounding uniques, the Gavel of Pain, though it unfortunately does not do much to live up to the name. With relatively mediocre enhanced damage percent and just an okay boost to min-max damage, its raw damage will lag a bit behind an upgraded steel driver. That said, it does come with some interesting perks, namely Amplify Damage Charges, as well as a chance to cast Amplify Damage on Striking, and a chance to cast Iron Maiden when struck. Personally, I've always found it interesting, but I've almost always found things I would rather use in its slot, especially with Decrepify available relatively easily on a couple of other weapons. As we move to elites, you'll notice we have a lot more items in this column. That's because Hammer's got a good number of double elites. Starting with the legendary mallets, we have the more common Stone Crusher, which is one of the rare sources of the damage plus modifier, albeit one of the weaker ones. It also packs a reasonable amount of base damage combined with crushing blow and reduced enemy defense, not to mention added strength, though considering the base strength required for this, you usually won't need that at this point. It's an okay one-handed hammer, but only brings a bit to the table to compensate for its slower speed. The other legendary mallet, which is only one in five of the mallets dropped, is Schaefer's Hammer, a much more interesting weapon than its cousin, with increased attack speed to help with a bit of the abysmal hammer speed, a pinch of enhanced damage, lightning damage, lightning resist, and even life. It is mostly used for its last two traits though, with a 20% chance to cast Static Field, and its built-in Fool's Mod that gives you plus maximum damage and attack rating based on level, making it get more and more dangerous with each level you get. This can be a fairly fun vengeance weapon or just a fun hammer to wield on a number of builds, but it usually won't fall in as best in slot, especially since it falls into the same issue as other indestructible weapons in that it can never spawn ethereal. After that, we move on to the Ogre Maul Windhammer, a weapon that a lot of veteran players know by heart. This is an exceptionally nice hammer with a massive attack speed boost, 50% crushing blow, solid enhanced damage for its other stats, and a 1 in 3 chance of casting a decent level twister on striking. 
This can be a fun druid weapon for smacking stuff around in either wear form, bear or wolf, and the twister stun can be super useful. It does not quite beat out other certain bigger and nastier weapons, but it is still entirely competitive and can be used to pretty much get anywhere in hell just fine. In the Thunder Mauls, we again have another druid oriented weapon, but this time one used for a very niche build, and that is Earth Shifter, a weapon that still fits in that this is weird space for me, but is useful for fire elemental shapeshifters, but this time with a lot more useful mods than Earthshaker. This packs a whopping plus 7 to elemental skills, a bit of increased attack speed and cast rate, as well as a great bit of enhanced damage and a solid amount of crushing blow. This combined with casting fissure on striking can be used to turn a normally all physical druid build into a fire wielding powerhouse. I'm looking forward to where it goes in 2.4. It is worth noting, it does not come with that socket in it, I put it there since I use this one, though I did clear out the rune so the stats were more clear. And last but not least is the Cranium Basher, which takes the other approach to dealing with physical immunes and that is by casting Amplified Damage on Striking. This throws on some attack speed, boosted damage, and strength, but more importantly has a whopping 75% crushing blow and an okay 25% boost to resist. Being indestructible again works against this weapon unfortunately since you'll never find it ethereal, but it can be a fun weapon for punching through immunes for a maul user. Though generally I would prefer Windhammer and an Earthshifter over this weapon most days, at least as far as the uniques go. Anywho, that's the hammers. Next up we have the maces, which also pack a few very interesting pockets of power. 